depending on when you're watching this video, you may or may not all these formulas, but for the financial unit, this is like the most powerful thing. So I've been changing the format for this sheet, but I think I'm going to stick with this. If not, it's the same idea. Basically, to figure out the I, it's going to be the, that the interest per compounded period. We're going to get the percentage per year divided by 100 to make it into a decimal. And then it will divide it by the number of compounded periods per year. That kind of makes sense. Hit enter. For the number of periods, compound periods, it's basically going to be equals the number of years times, well, the number of compounded periods per year. So in this case, if it's five years and 12 months per year, well, that's 60. So that kind of works out. The nice thing is that once you have this, I can do uh, control copy, control C, sorry and then paste the formula to all the other ones because they're going to be always the same and the one on the bottom too that's already done for us right now to get the present value formula well I put it right here it's a times bracket 1 plus i to the negative n so this is how we're going to plug it in we're probably going to need brackets on the negative exponent equals a well my a seems to be here times open bracket 1 plus i, well my i, I just calculated it, it's right there, close bracket to the power of, and to make the negative n I'm going to bracket minus and the n is right there, close bracket, there's my answer, and I can fill in that formula again, let me fill the present value formula so you can see, because this is a little longer, but it's actually exactly the same, you just follow step by step what I put there with the extra brackets and you'll be fine, so it says r, so I'm going to say equals r, the regular payments right there, r times open bracket, that's the square bracket, but I just use one type of bracket. Open bracket, open bracket again, 1 minus open bracket again, 1 plus i, my i is right there, close bracket to the power of open bracket, minus n, my n's right here, close the exponent bracket, close the top bracket, this one right here, and now divided by i, divided by i, which is right here, and now close the big bracket, the square bracket, but for us it's just a round bracket, hit enter, and there it is, it says that if you deposit $100 for 5 years every month at 4.5%, we will end up with $5,363.64. Future value formula is similar, and then eventually we'll learn this formula for R, and then you can actually get this numbers too. This would be absolutely fantastic for figuring out how much things change if interest go up, or if you just want to leave it there for longer periods of time, or if you want to put down a bigger regular payment, etc., etc. Give that a try.